I'm John Preston. Um, I set up Brit FM probably 16 years ago. Um, I have the privilege now of working with a fantastic team who do a lot more running around than I do, but I still do quite a lot of running around too. I think for me, Brit FM is a model of industry good practice. We're a school at the Brit School. And so I think first and foremost, it's about training young people in radio. So should they go on further to earn money in radio, they know what radio looks like. They know how to be in radio. So if they go to the BBC or one of the commercial stations, all the other new things that they have to get used to, they don't have to get used to what good radio looks like. Over and beyond that, I think that Brit FM is a voice for young people. In fact, it's a voice for everybody that's on Brit FM. And I think that whether it's the hospice crew or the young people from St Mary's, whether it's the year 10s doing the breakfast show or the year 12s, or whether it's the staff choosing the tunes that they want to play or talking to me about their stories, is an opportunity for those voices to be heard. I think Brit FM is also about teamwork. Brit FM is about people pulling together and working together on a joint enterprise in a positive and professional, but hopefully fun environment to produce something really worthwhile. I like taking our students to the Stephen Lawrence Centre. Stephen's story is very much a part of South London history um, and not a happy part. And yet, out of such a terrible event, some positive things can come. And if you look at the energy that our broadcasters take to that place every year and the work that they put out, you know, that is part of Stephen's legacy and I feel proud of that. I like taking the students to Matthew's Yard because they make nice coffee there. And it's a nice chilled out place to be and they can enjoy that environment and it's a very online savvy crowd there. So I quite like the fact that we can profile ourselves and the school, of course, by being there. And then, of course, to take our students to St Christopher's Hospice is special again. It can't be anything but positive. And our students get a hell of a lot out of going there and seeing that life goes on even in a hospice setting. So we had our broadcasters, our year 12s and 13s, working alongside hospice broadcasters. And that's really a powerful thing. There's a lot more to Brit FM than just radio. I think right here in the moment, the best thing for me about Brit FM actually is the enjoyment that the students get from doing it. Because from that, all else follows. They're good, they're professional, they're very focused, but they enjoy it as well. And when I see them working independently, and actually it's often making key decisions when I'm not in the area and getting it right. That's a really great thing too. You know, the plan is that I don't work anywhere near as hard next year or the year after. But I've been doing it for 16 years and that ain't worked yet. But you know, we live in hope for real. <laughs>